The guest died, hit the project, project settings, and then head over to input map. Here you'll see the default inputs. The name of the action can be found here, and the inputs for each action can be found underneath. To add your own action, head to this box at the top here and type the name of the action that you want to add. I'll add a new action called Jump. Once you've typed in the name, click the Add button on the right. Once you've added your action, head down to the bottom of the list and find it. Click the plus button next to the action to add an input. For my Jump action, I'll be using the Space key as the input. To do this, I'll click the plus button, head down to Key and then press Space on the keyboard. Click OK when you're done. You can add multiple inputs for each action. For example, here I have an action called up and I have both the W and up arrow key binded to it. As well as binding keyboard inputs, you can also bind controller and mouse inputs. You use these custom inputs the same way as you would use the default ones, but instead you call them by your custom action name. In my case, that would be jump. Remember that these names are case sensitive. Here's an example of how you would use a custom input. That's about everything you need to know. Consider checking out this video on screen as YouTube thinks you'll like it.